Previously on McLeod's Daughters. Nick, look who I found. Hi, stranger. Hi, Nick. How's the riding going? Yeah. Knew we could do it. Pleased to meet you, Sally. Likewise, I've heard a lot about you, Tess. I'm sure you have. Tess is always up to something. What time's Brick getting in? The lunchtime bus. Mmm. You did give them my letter. Peter, you have to tell them the truth. I could lose everything. Well, I already have. Are you sure you gave him the letter? I mean, maybe you just thought you did. I gave him that letter, Tess. He came for the horses and I handed it to him. So if Peter kept the letter, then maybe he still got it. Hello, housekeeping. Like I said, we'll work it out. Can you work this out? I'm pregnant. Tess. Yeah. Does this mean you're gonna... Yeah, I think so. Oh, I don't know. <sighs> Why did I let this happen? Stupid. So stupid. Well, you'll be all right. Whatever you decide, you're not in this alone. You've got me. But how can I decide? It's too hard. I can't do this. To my life, suddenly I am pregnant and homeless. Well, not necessarily. I mean, Peter's the dad here, it's his baby. No way. He's having nothing to do with it. He is trying to ruin Drover's run. There is no way he's going to have anything to do with this kid. If you tell Peter about this baby, he might do the right thing. He wouldn't want his own flesh and blood out in the cold. His own genes are involved here. It's biology. It all stands up pretty good. He's out of Joker Queen. Look, I want to know if it was ever true. What you said you felt between us. How can you even ask? Because I don't understand how you can do any of this. I could lose my property because of you. Well, there's a way out of this, Claire. It's easy. You see, I can fix everything with Australian bloodlines. All the problems, gone. How? Marry me. say yes. Of course not. I said I'd think about it. 
Claire, the man is a psycho. He lied to everyone about that letter. He was hurt. I, I was hurt. We were both hurt. Look, maybe if the stupid war was over, maybe we could love each other again. I'm sorry, but that's blackmail. Marry me or you lose drivers. Very romantic. And dangling his homeless, unborn child in front of him wasn't blackmail? Oh, I get it. You told him about the pregnancy and now he wants to do the right thing. I haven't told him. <sighs> he wants me, Tess. He still wants me. Maybe it could work. The baby would get a father and... Your brain has been scrambled by hormones. It would get a family. This baby already has a family. You, me, Meg, Becky, Jody. Don't even think about this. Don't. I have to. Hey, Claire. You gonna check out this course today? We'll just concede to Peter Johnson up front. Let's get a ring on. Jody, did Becky tell you what she was doing today? Well, Rick was getting in yesterday. What do you think she's doing? You don't know where she is. They'll come up for air eventually. When they do, I think they might have an announcement to make. It's Matthews versus Madonna! In here this morning! Miss out on Girl fight! I'm not ready for this. Stop. Let me finish. I didn't get off the bus. Just hypothetically, what if Kevin had turned up after only a year instead of 18 years? Oh, different life. I'd be a different person. So you'd have taken him in? Back then? In a flash. And what if he'd left not knowing you were pregnant and he'd been messing around with other women? Well, that'd be hard. But you know, if he's the one that makes your pulse race, what's pregnancy got to do with it? Nothing, it's just hypothetical. Is this about you and Nick? No, it's not about me. It's not about anyone. I remember from last time, extra onions, extra sauce. Enjoy. Morning. How's business? Sausages are walking out the doorway. Out the door. I, I was just remembering how we always used to have an ice cream when we came to the show. I'd love to, Mum, but I'm really flat out. Uh, just sauce and onions, right? If there's anything you need to talk about, I'm all ears. Are you sure there isn't something else you need to tell me? I guess I should tell you now. I have found some really amazing deals in off-season flights to Europe. So a couple more sausage sizzles and we'll be able to afford our tickets. Nothing else? Is this Alberto's idea? We talk about everything, Mum. We both own the idea, OK? It's such a drastic thing to do at a time like this. Well, Italy's a bit far to swim, Mum, so yeah, a plane seems like a good idea. Just sauce? Thanks. Oh, very soon, Nick. No worries. Uh, how about we try for that drink later on? Oh, yeah, of course. Later on. If this business with Tess is too awkward... What, what business? Oh, nothing. We'll talk. Um, there's a few things I need to say. Good things. Hey there. Hi, Meg. Didn't see a tomato chutney in the competition this year. Life's out of control at the moment. Tell me about it. It's bad enough being a single mother. Being a single grandmother is just nauseating. It's truth. Those Catholic blokes don't muck around, do they? Oh, don't say anything. She hasn't told me yet. Sure, no problem. <laughs> what are you 
grinning at? Old name food groups. Coffee, hot chips, chocolate. Eat something, Beck. Drink. Don't tell me what to do. I haven't been hit by a truck. So, tried calling Brick. His uncle said he left Queensland a week ago. Could be he found some work on the way down. I've got the time and the day. He's just another guy who is too gutless to tell his girlfriend that he got a better offer. You have to be crazy. It fits. I've never had a guy look me in the eye and tell me what he really feels. What was that meant to be? I'm, I'm sorry. You, you said... Jake, just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Get over that jump, you've got plenty of room for a good turn. Get a good head of steam down here over this jump. You've got a nice solid landing, Claire. No, Please. no. It's good takeoff footing over there. Brave Jay's good, but he's not the best jumper I've seen. Claire Peters are heading points, right? Yeah, but we can't afford a refusal. There's no way Brave Jay's going to refuse the low jump. Right, eh? We need a win, yeah? <laughs> Wouldn't it be great, Claire? We'd nail that poncy little jerk to the wall. I don't think abusing Peter's helping things out much. Man's got to have a hobby. Hello again. You coming? In a minute. So, uh, so what are you thinking? Should I book the registry office or would you like to do the whole church thing? Alex and I have a business arrangement. We can't just hang him out to dry. Look, we will sort something out. There's always a role for Alex. That's what you want. I'm not saying I've made up my mind. I'm just saying he's a good mate. This mess is all going to fade, Claire. 20 years from now, we will laugh about it. It'll be the story of how we got together. Look all the dumb mistakes, all the fighting. We'll laugh ourselves silly. And Alex will be there too, laughing with us. Is that how it works, Peter? Bad stuff drops away. What's left? Stories, some old friends, and us. Why start now? Ah, the McLeod sisters. Harry, please. Hello. Listen, we're neighbours and we're friends, so if you need a hand with anything, just... Who have you been talking to, Harry? No, no, just uh, one odd rumour about Tess and a hotel breaking. That'd be Watergate, Harry, way before my time. Oh, look, there's Nick. And Sally. Again. Goody. They're getting on so well. And as it turned out, I've known her mother for absolutely years. <laughs> we'll get through this race, and then we'll get through this day, and then we'll get things sorted. Psyched Alex up for the cross country yet? Any more psyched up, we'd have to lock him up. <laughs> I might go check on him, actually. Sleep well? Got a room at the pub, slept like a baby, despite the mattress. Doesn't get the physio stamp of approval, eh? Well, if I stay long enough, I'll get used to it. So, any signs of germination yet? That's a bit early. Give it a couple of weeks. We're planting seeds together. It's a business relationship. Sounds good. Is it a first? Well, it's a start. It's a one-off, I reckon. We'll see how it goes. I know what you're going to do. I've thought about it too, and it's a bad idea. Blood out, Tess. After everything that's happened... I loved Peter. Loved him. Everything that could go wrong did go wrong, and it was all red. 
Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe I've got a chance to keep the land I love doing the work I love with the man I love. Yeah, but did you ever think, why did it go wrong? Try and kiss me again, Isabel. Here's trying to bite. I'm sorry about that. It was a good kiss. It was bad timing. You said it was good. I know I spelled out the rules, you know? We'd be mates and we'd ha have a few laughs, uh, do a bit of boxing. I know I said we could be friends and I wouldn't want more. It's crap. You're right, Beck. It was crap. I, I fell for it. The first time I found your rifle through my cupboards. And I've been doing the Just Friends routine ever since, but I can't do it anymore. I don't want to be friends. I want all of you. <laughs> I'm not a jerk. I haven't said anything, done anything, because you and Brick. Yeah. He's left you in the lurch. And I reckon he's crazy. But, but maybe now... Who says he's left me? Hey. You all right? Yeah, I'm OK. It's been a long day. Oh, and it's only lunchtime. I guess you've been seeing a lot of Nick lately. You'd be over at his property a bit. Yeah, a bit. It's just that, um, I need the goss, you know? I can tell your mates and something's bugging him. Maybe you should talk to Nick about that. Yeah, right. He's good at the Frank chat thing. Tess, I need to know if Nick's seeing anyone. Anyone serious? Uh, not that I know of. Thanks. I just don't want to tread on any toes. Well, that's sweet of you. <laughs> well, when I met Nick at the surgery, I thought, cute boy. And then I got to know him, and he's a real one-off. He's the first guy I found I can imagine changing my life for. But hey, I'm drooling in front of you. <laughs> Now I know why you came all this way on a house call. Oh, this is fun, not work. Anyway, I hope he won't be my patient much longer. Well, that's too bad. Well, you know the rules. We're not meant to sleep with our patients. I'll just, um... Alberto! Alberto! Oh, I'm sorry. I really need to talk to you. Oh, no worries. I'm all ears, Meg. Uh, you're uh, about to travel to Italy and the world. That is the plan? Well, I, I was just thinking... Uh, oh, what the hell? I think you should wait. Have the baby here. Wait till it's old enough. Baby? Me? Yes, Jody. This is fantastic news. Kind of fit. Meg, were you pregnant with Jody? When I was pregnant with Jody, the first person I told was Kevin, her father. The father should be the first to know. Isn't that how it's done now? Well, not always. It, it depends. Bloody Jody, why hasn't she told him? Meg, it's hard being a solo parent, isn't it? I mean, really hard. Claire, you've got no idea how tough it is. Yeah. Oh, my God. You're pregnant. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, congratulations. Which, which is it? Both, I suppose. Look, Claire will talk, but just right now, there's a bit of a mess I have to clear. Meg. You love drovers, don't you? You'd stick by it, no matter what I did. Of course.
way, this is a big secret, Carla. What do you want to bet? We have started our family, the first of six at least, maybe ten. Come and bitch. Fantastico. That is like so far into the future, and the lunch rush is hardly the time to start discussing next decade's family. And what do you do with those flowers instead of more sausages? Uh, look, I'm sorry. I think I might have got the facts mixed up. Jodie, you're not pregnant. Great, I'll make a note of that. Thanks, Mum. Not pregnant. No. But this would be perfect. No, it would not. We've been making plans for weeks. Travel plans. Not baby plans. You've been making plans. I've been making sausages. Time to spread the happy news. We kept a secret for an hour. What does Peter think about it, I haven't told him. Don't say a word, OK? Yeah, what do you... He wants me back, Meg. I think all our problems could go away if I agreed. Problems? Australian bloodlines can take drovers from us. Peter's the only one who can stop it from happening. What? She told you? It's a really crap idea, right? We get to keep driving and Peter's around forever. Or until he racks off again. She needs to know the truth. You know, Tess, Claire was a lonely kid. She still is. If she has some vision of the perfect family that she missed... Yeah, but Peter can't give her what she wants. Who are you thinking about here, Tess? Two are doing for the rest of the day? Why? Because then I can be somewhere else. Tess, if you've got a problem... You gave me no chance at all, Nick. One mistake, one bad week, and that's it, it's over? You run hot and cold, Tess. And Sally is permanently hot, is she? Is that why Liz wheeled her in to warm your bed up? No. Forget, Ma. Forget Sally. Let's do it now, you and me. Do what? Come home with me. Live with me. Let's get your stuff and go, right now. Now? Right now. Take it or leave it. Nick, I would, but I can't. There's always a reason to hide, isn't there? No, you don't understand. See, at least Sally knows what she wants. I don't think you've got a clue. You're right. I had this friend who asked me once, is he the one for you? Baboom. Baboom. If it feels right to marry Peter, if he's the one for you, then forget all the problems. Go for the good part. Marry him. I'll probably even get you a present. made my decision. I accept your proposal, provided you pass on my letter to Australian bloodlines and admit what a complete bastard you've been. Whatever it takes. Yes. Oh. Uh, there's a lot of details. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So... Maybe after the challenge we could get together and we'll have dinner or something. Oh, this is great. I mean, Australian bloodlines, 
are going to kick my ass at the door, you know. But look, that doesn't matter because you are all I've ever wanted. Peter was hurt. I jilted the guy and... Listen to me. I'm going to thrash the big ugly knob in this race and then I'm back to being a neighbour. See you when you need a cup of sugar. Hey! Man, I am so over grilled onions and sausages, but it's okay because we're making good money. And what have you done with Brick? He was a no-show. That can't be right. Why not? He wouldn't be the first. <laughs> yeah, but this is brick, okay? The guy would wade through knee-deep funnel webs to get back to you. Yeah, I thought so too. This is weird. He said he was coming. What? You talked to him? Why did he call you? Okay, he needed to talk to a friend of yours about something that he couldn't talk about with you. Tell me, Jode. You know, he probably just missed the bus. I reckon Jody, what did he say to you? Was it important? It's supposed to be a secret. He wanted to know if you like diamonds, rubies or emeralds. In a ring. A ring? <laughs> I said diamonds because they're the most expensive. <laughs> a ring? Yeah. Oh, but when you see him, can you try and act surprised? Please. Come to wish me luck. Uh, what you said before about the, the trouble would go, would find a way of being friends with Alex. Yeah, sure. I mean, you'll get over me. Well, I just had a talk with Alex and it didn't go very well. <laughs> well, that's his choice, Claire. If it comes down to just you and me. What does that mean? Well, friends, they come and go. Staff change jobs. What, you mean Meg? And Becky's staff. <gasps> what about my sister? Well, she's got her own life too. You and me, Claire. That's what's important. You don't need many people around, do you? Look, you made up your mind before. I'm sorry, Peter, but I need more than just the two of us. Oh, what? Now you're calling it off? There's just too much bad blood between us. What we had isn't there anymore. I just need time. I could do this if I loved you, Peter. But it's gone. Sorry to be a nuisance. You may as well have these. That would be Jody. But, well, no. but yeah. Oh, Terry, they're gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Yeah, they're cute and cuddly for a while, and when they grow up, duck stew. Ah, <laughs> you old softy. You make the best duck stew, don't you? Grandma Meg, you know, I kind of like the sound of that. Do you? Makes yeah. me want to hit someone. Do you want me to keep my distance, Terry? And what gave you that idea? Some people. Some people reckon I should steer clear of you. Nothing wrong with us being mates, eh? I have a present for you also. 
Not flowers this time. <laughs> I got it at the Jumble store. We can do this trip so cheaply. I mean, with my savings and the money we're making here, we can almost afford it. We can go, Rome, Paris. You're always thinking about next week, next month. Yeah, of course. I'm thinking long term, about our life here, our family, the roots we put down. Roots? Do we want roots? Our olive trees, one each. Oh, that's so sweet. We'll plant them at Drovers Run, we watch them grow and give fruit. Alberto, how long until the first olives appear? Five years, Carla, only five years. Oh. Just about due for a tea break if you free. Oh, uh, actually. What's in the box? Oh. <laughs> Cute. They make good pets? They do, and then they make good casserole. Mm, do they? the way things go on a property, I guess. Yes, Frank, we eat all our animal friends sooner or later. Hmm. Um, when we get together, I just wanted to ask an old question now. Uh, where do we go from here? I mean, it's been fun so far. It, it has been fun getting to know you, Frank, and, um, I think I might have to pass on that drink. Maybe next week? I don't think so. Meg? The ducklings. Prison from Terry, right? Yeah. I suppose the duck's out of the question then. You've been in arrears since day one, haven't you? Get away. You got what you wanted, didn't you? You've been white handing me since the day I turned up with these contracts, and you've done it again today. They came to a senses, huh? Well, it's better now than a month down the track, mate. But I guess you would have probably settled for a month with her. Fisher, usual, is it? Yeah, 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 same old. Nick, do you want me to? No, 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 no. Just do it fast. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Just get on with it. Ready? Yeah! Ah! Ah. You all right? You sure? Yeah. Come on. Okay. You do this often? Oh, well, often enough. You all right? Yeah. Look at that, Nick. But I can handle it. Great. You're not going to be riding in the cross country, are you? Saying goodbye. Last one, hang around. Well, good luck. I hope you find it. Sure, you do. No, I mean it. Do you need any extra money or anything? No, I'll get by. Yeah, me too. Hey, okay, thanks. You're a mate, whatever you say. Becky, wait! Look, you can't go, okay? My life just got really complicated. Alberto wants to stay here forever, and he makes it sound almost romantic, but it's not. Stick with him, Jodie. Alberto's one of the good guys. Becky, please, you don't understand. Hey. Say goodbye to everyone for me. I don't want to get talked out of this. our money. We've done well. You see? A few more sausage sizzles and, and we could manage. A short trip, at least. 
There is a way, Kara, to do a longer trip. You could take all our money and go. By myself? But I want to have adventures with you. I've been trying to explain. I'm already on an adventure. All this, Drovers Run, our love, it's amazing for me. You'd let me fly away. I'll do your work for Claire and Tess. You go and have your fun. And then come home to me, okay? You're not prepared for it. What's the point of any race? Look, it's not the end of the world if Peter takes out the challenge. Oh, he's not going to win. I'm going to ride him down and whip his ass. But she's pregnant. OK, ladies and gentlemen, the competitors are assembled for the last leg of the Stockman's Challenge, and the marshal is in attendance. Peter Johnson on solitaire is first off, galloping hard and well down to the first jump. Next away should be Alex Ryan, but Alex is a late scratching, and that's bad luck for the McLeod Ryan team. Filling his spot will be number three rider. Whoa! That's Claire McLeod on Grove J. Taken over from Alex Ryan at a gallop. This is pure spite, you know. It's all totally unnecessary. Claire looked pretty eager. She almost jumped the gun again. Yes, this race is the highlight every year. If you don't understand anything, ask a local. You know, Nick could go on this next year. He could indeed. Thanks to Sally's hard work. Oh, well done. OK, Liz, I can say it now. I've really made an effort to get along with you, but I don't give a stuff anymore. You are one of the most self-centered and manipulative people that I have ever met. Excuse me. You've won. You've saved Nick from me. I wonder who'll save him from you. Just a minute ago. My name's Julia. I'm an ambulance officer. Had a bit of a tumble off your horse. Get this hand off. What have you done this time? Claire tried to take the top jump. What did you do? It wasn't my fault. I'll bloody kill you. Yeah, pulse is weak and thready. Claire, can you squeeze my hands? Claire! Claire! She's okay. She's hanging in there. Smile, Claire, it all hurts. Oh, 
They're looking after him. Claire, I'll give you some morphine for the pain. Um, there's something you should know. She's pregnant. You said what? A baby. It's not yours. Mine. I'm a fan. I knew it. Peter. Peter, this isn't finished. She's yet. a bitch and she's out of my life. No, she's not. You've still got Claire's resignation letter. I want it back. All oh, right. You think the pain just goes away like that, do you? I don't care if it does or not. Give me the damn letter now. She'll be here for months. She'll love that. <laughs> what about? She's still pregnant. What a mess. Claire? Got the letter, look. Never leave a mark. 